Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to add weekends for one task in Microsoft Project. Okay, so now, let's get started. And, okay, so for example, in a project, when you have some task running behind the schedule show, you want to add more resources to work on the weekend to bring the, the, the project on track and on the timeline. So, in this video today, I will guide you how to do some, some customization to, to, to add more weekend into a, into a specific task. Okay, so now, follow me. And I will go ahead to create some tasks in this project. That one. Okay. Two, three, four, five, and six, or something like that. Okay. And then I will change the task mode into the from manually to auto schedule. Okay. And here for that one, it will be five day, two day, three day, five day, two day, um, two day, and hang on. Five day, two day, three day, and three day. Okay. Let me ask the project summary task for this one. Okay, cool. And so now the next step, I will be adding some the relationship for each task in this project. So for example, six tasks in this pro six tasks in this project will be finished sequently. So here, just select the six tab here and click on task tab on the menus and navigate to the schedule section you see here we have a link link selected task in the project okay so now you can see in the gun chart there are some the sequence sequence activity yeah okay and then okay so for example i will be adding the start date for this project by click on the project and project information. For example, this project will be starting from the 30th September 2019, uh, 2020. Okay, here. And then for that one, it will be executed in around one, one week. Okay. And then go, go to the top two, it will be taking two days. So now, for example, I want to speed up the, 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 the work for task number two. Yeah. And that means I want to add more resources to work on the weekend. Yeah. So here, let me do it. You go to the chain working time. And by default, it will be using the standard calendar for the project. So now, I will create a new calendar by adding the weekend into this project. Click on create new calendar and I will name this one a, a calendar with weekend. Okay. And then you click on work weeks. Okay. And double click on this one. And you can see here the selected date. The selected day is Sunday. By default, we have no working time. Monday from 8 to 12, 1 to 5, Saturday, okay. And so now, I will be setting the same working hour from the 8 to 12 and 1 to 5 for Saturday and Sunday, okay. Let me do it. Select Saturday and click on select option, set days to the specific working time. 8 to... Well, one, two, five. Okay. Do the same thing with Sunday. And then click on OK button. Yeah. 
show you can see here for the Canada. It would it it would be selected the Canada with we can okay show when you take a look into the Canada here Saturday and Sunday okay show you can see the background will be the white color that means this is the working tab in your project okay so if you select the standards oh sorry you have to save it first okay okay hang on close this and okay to save it and then back to to the chain working tab okay so you see here for the standards the saturday and sunday will be in gray background color it will be the non-working tab okay so so now i want to add the uh, weekend saturday and sunday for the tab number two so how to do it okay so you have to click on tab number two double click on this one to open the task information okay and then you go to the tab advanced in the advanced tab here you navigate to the calendar calendar option by default it will be none when you select a none option in calendar it will be uh, using the default calendar of the microsoft project okay so here i will click on this one and then select the option a calendar with weekends okay click on ok button here to apply the, the new change for calendar okay so you see here after i click on ok button the so number two have it as an icon in the indicator so here it says that this calendar calendar with weekends is assigned to the task okay and you can see now Saturday and Sunday have it added into tab number two. In this of Monday and Saturday of next week. Okay, you can also see it in the uh, gun chart here. Okay, it will be working on the gray color for Saturday and Sunday. Okay, that means the next task in tab number three will be fr start from the next Monday and Friday. Okay. Okay, and you have thus adding the uh, uh, customized calendars for one task in task number two in your project plan. In case if you want to ask the weekend calendar to an another task, it will be do doing the same thing. Okay, so here let me try to add one, uh, add this calendar into one more task in our project. So here, for example, I have task number four. It will be working on Monday and Tuesday. So, if I ask the calendars for working over the weekend, it should be working on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, let me do it. Double click on this one and go to the advanced tab. In calendar, you select the calendar with weekends. Okay, here. So, you see, it should be the same. Task number four and number two should be the same. In the indicator, it has the icon for calendar. Okay. Okay. And then, okay, so when you add more resources to work on the weekend, so your project timeline will be increased. I mean, you can finish the project in, uh, ahead of schedule. Okay, so now I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to do some customization. Uh, I mean, you, you are able to create a new calendar, custom calendars for your project by adding more the uh, weekend into your project. And then after you create a new project calendar customization, a uh, custom, so you are able to add just a custom calendar for weekend into some specific tasks in your project. Okay, so I hope this video will have fun for you. If you have any question, please let me know and I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Okay, again, thank you for watching and bye bye. See you guys in the next video.